Okay. So this is free drive that just allows him to move it around, to be able to play, just learn how to control the, the robot. And what you see is they're quite agile, so this is a death um, animation for example. Yep. They've got sensors that they use to detect each other which can then allow them to interact with each other. Okay. So they can see other robots in the environment. You can then take them into different game modes. So going from single player, augmented reality gameplay, so if you have someone else to play with and being able to create your own content, which we're working on, to being able to have two-player gameplay, like battle, okay. and, and more strategic engagement, uh, to most player augmented reality gameplay even. Okay. And then we are looking at also um, being able to create your own skills and animations, and, and then also allowing you to program the robots as well. So, pretty cool. interesting. That's why we're covering all the spectrums, you know, gaming, robotics, uh, education. Right. Do you guys sponsor like any tournaments or anything like that around well, these? Yeah, but we plan to. Yeah, so okay. we're, we're, we've got a, kind of our own grown type of community developing yeah. at the moment. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people are loving it and putting their own tournaments together, so I expect to see something this year. And do you have any uh, folks doing uh, like auto programming it to be autonomous in any way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we, we should put a camera on it. Those are the kind of things that we're looking at. So, okay. it won't just stay in entertainment in the long term. Yeah. There are a lot of interesting applications that we're, we're looking at. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no